Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick uh, kind of video lesson here on what to do, uh, how to scan, do your nightly scans when we have a market uh, sell off like we did today. Uh, this is the daily chart. It uh, broke the 9 EMA. Now we may continue dropping to uh, to, to some levels here. Uh, I'm thinking somewhere in this level here. Hopefully find some support. Uh, if not, it could uh, could continue to to drop off, sell off here for a bit. We we are due. I I'm really hoping this this market would just sell off. It makes shorting a whole hell of a lot easier and everything else. Um, longing will be a lot a lot more difficult. But anyways, that's not the purpose of this video. So uh, you see that we had a a, a fair fairly big sell off. Uh, uh, we're down just uh, one and three quarter percent uh, on the day, which is this is the biggest red day we've had in uh, in a long time. Looks like since uh, what do we got here? Come on, yeah, it's it's been quite a while. So, um, anyways, this is how I will do my scans for the next day I will go to Finviz and I will do my dumper scan I will do two scans my dumper under 10 and then the uh, dumper uh, that just that doesn't have a price detail so these are the settings for that uh, performance today down price under 10 uh, performance at least down 5% average true range of uh, at least 25 cents uh, change down and pattern horizontal support and resistance without this for some reason I just don't get the uh, the success with the uh, with the scan as I would like to so when I put this in it seems to work a little bit better so with this you uh, can scan by the biggest percent uh, drop and BEBE -E was our biggest one, PME, tops, of course, <laughs> uh, VRS. So then I'll go off of the charts and I'll go to candle because I'm just looking for recent big dumps. So I want to get a, I believe it's a three month chart. Yeah, it's the three month chart here. So, so then I'm going to look for, for big, not big drops because of bad news or anything like that. Just, just dumps because the market is down see this was climbing up pretty good uh, actually PME no disregard that this is this is pretty bad news here so we'll stay away from that but uh, I mean you'd have to go over all of the um, uh, all of the news you got to you got to do your own due diligence but uh, you're gonna want to look for stuff that would that was climbing really nicely and then it it was it, it was due for a pullback and because the market sold off, we got a bigger pullback than expected. Like I've mentioned in other videos, I love overreaction plays. Uh, stuff where people just kind of panic out of shit and uh, start dumping their shares. Uh, this CNAT, I don't think I would uh, necessarily touch because it's breaking some, some support. And I mean, it was already looking fairly ugly to begin with. I mean, this is a, a pretty textbook bear flag here. So, I mean, I wouldn't touch that. But, um, you know, something like this, we might get a bounce. Uh, SGMO. Um, you know, what else? Just got to quickly kind of go through it. You know, maybe BVXV. I'd have to take a look at the tickers. This is just kind of a, a nice little uh, video, an example of, of what to do when the market sells off for a day. If we get a bounce tomorrow, a lot of these will go green and they'll have a nice little bounce. So I'll put a bunch of these uh, tickers, the ones that really look good, into a separate watch list and then watch them like a hawk if the if the futures are green and the market starts going green in the morning we'll get a nice um 
we'll get a nice bounce. And it's, I kind of like when the market has big sell off days like that, because the next day I usually go to my dumper scan for, uh, for scans. And it's generally, uh, really, uh, really promising, really good stuff. Uh, easy money. Um, very highly, highly predictable because that's what you want. And, uh, and, and that's about it. So that's how I kind of do my nightly scans when you get a market uh, like this, a nice big sell off, because this is a big sell off uh, from, oops, from, uh, from what we're used to having. I mean, we're getting spoiled. Like it, it's pretty bad when people start panicking over a, over a 1% fucking drop for Christ's sakes. You can tell we're spoiled now. <laughs> uh, because usually drops of like one or two percent, I mean, I don't know, they're not fucking that scary, right? But people part, start panicking and say the end is here, the end is here. I want the fucking end to come here. I, I want this market to sell off and go back. We need a good, good sell off. Um, I know that's kind of bad for everything else, but for us traders, especially if you're able to go long or short, um, shorting is so much easier. There is a lot of easy money in a bear market. Um, so anyways, that's all I really have to say. I hope that helps. Um, if you have any other questions or any, uh, questions you want answered, answer, just leave some comments and I'll try and do some videos or I'll just get back to you via the comment section. Thanks guys.